Hello, this is a tutor explanation for Functional Skills Level 2 Reformed Maths paper. The questions in this paper are for the paper reference that you can see on the screen. It is a calculator question. Okay, let's find the question and have a read through. Sal works in a dress shop. She wants to know how well the labels on the dress hangers agree with the true size of the dresses. The table shows information about some hangers and dresses. So we've got a two-way table there. So the columns are the true size of the dress, the actual, when you take it off the hanger, what size it is. And the rows are the label on the hanger. At the bottom there, we've got totals for each of the sizes of dresses. Sal thinks that two in every seven dresses are on hangers with the wrong label. Is Sal correct? Show clearly why you think this for marks. So, breaking this down, this is a comparison question. So the answer will involve a comparison about the totals that we generate from the information in the question compared to Sal thinking that two in every seven dresses are hangers with the wrong label. So what I've done is annotated the table. So, so we need information from the table to make comparison. So the information that we can get from the table are figures, which I've put in circles. These figures are matches, so the same label on the hanger and the true size of the dress. So for example, true size of the dress 10, label on the hanger 10, there are eight of them. So they're in circles. Blue squares is the label on the hanger and true size of dress are not the same. They do not match. So, for example, this there's two. The true size of the dress is 12, but the label on the hanger says 10. Finally, the information we need is the figures in the red triangles, which is the total of each size. Okay, so... Now I've annotated the table. We can start getting some figures from that. Okay, so let's go for the totals because we're going to need that uh, no matter what. So the totals are the bottom row there. So adding those all together, 12 plus 13 plus 19 plus 16 plus 17, there are 77 dresses in total. So to make the comparison, we could either go along the route of adding up all those that are right. So if we do that, these are the figures. So these are the right. So that comes to 55 out of 77. But what we're comparing is hangers with the wrong label. So probably more useful to count up all those that are in the blue squares that are wrong. And that's 22 out of 77. So let's use those figures. So 22 out of 77. Okay, so we've got our figures there, 22 out of 7. It's asking us to compare 2 out of 7. So, again, it's finding out whether those numbers are equivalent. So we could do that in a number of ways. So those numbers are fractions. So we can keep them as fractions, but what we need to do is to simplify them. 22 out of 77 is 2 out of 7 of the equivalent. So if we just sort of work that through. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got 22 out of 77 comparing to 2 out of 7. If we simplify the bigger one, so 11 goes into both. So 11 divided by 2 is 2 and 11 divided by 77 is 7. So we can see, yes, they are equivalent. Also, we could turn 2 out of 7 and 22 out of 77 into decimals and then compare it. And once we've got the decimals, we can then compare it to a percentage. So whatever way we do it, we do come to the conclusion that Sal is correct.